Tesla showed what the Optimus robot has learned over the past year. New obstacles on the path to Starship's launch from American officials. The world's first factory for producing humanoid robots, tests of devices for bearing children, and the world's first humanoid robot set to be sent to the moon. These and other news in this video. Enjoy watching. Tesla announced that the Optimus robot, introduced approximately a year ago, is now capable of autonomously sorting objects. To achieve this, the robot uses its end-to-end -end trained neural network. Tesla has also released a video showcasing Optimus going through the processes of self-calibration and physically sorting colored blocks into the corresponding trays. At some point, a Tesla employee starts to interfere, but the robot can adapt to the surrounding environment while continuing to sort the blocks correctly. Finally, in the video's concluding part, the Tesla bot demonstrates its ability to balance on one leg. In one of the poses, standing on its left leg, the robot leans forward, extending both arms in front and pushing its second leg back. Then in the subsequent frames, Optimus performs one of the yoga poses. Standing on one leg, the robot raises the other and bends it at the knee, initially spreading its arms apart and then bringing its palms together at chest level. These and other skills Optimus can acquire through end-to-end -end training of neural network algorithms that operate directly on the robot's onboard computer. Over time, the robot Optimus has made significant progress. It's worth noting that just a year ago, Tesla's humanoid robot could barely walk. And now for some bad news for all Elon Musk fans. It has been revealed that the second launch of the Starship spacecraft may be postponed for months, all due to government officials. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service has not yet initiated the official review, which could take anywhere from 30 to 135 days. And the Federal Aviation Administration will not issue a launch license until this review is completed. It's worth noting that this review is necessary because of the changes made by the company after the first unsuccessful launch. SpaceX has modified the flight termination system and made approximately 1,000 other modifications to the spacecraft and launch vehicle. Additionally, measures have been taken to prevent further damage in the launch area. Steel plates have been installed on the platform to house a liquid cooling system, which performed well during tests. This system effectively mitigates the heat generated by the rocket engine's fire, specifically the Raptor engines used on the Starship spacecraft. Now, the Fish and Wildlife Service needs to evaluate how this will impact the environment, but they are in no rush to do so. Similarly, officials delayed the first Starship launch. Agility Robotics has announced the construction of the world's first humanoid robot factory. The 6,500 square meter plant will be located in Oregon and will be able to produce more than 10,000 units of Digit's humanoid robot per year. It is anticipated that the robots coming off the assembly line will work alongside humans in the same factory. The robot factory is promised to be completed this year, with the first robot deliveries to customers beginning in 2024. However, the robot will only become publicly available on the market in 2025. In the first year, the company plans to manufacture approximately 100 robots and then gradually increase production to 10,000 units. Digit is a bipedal, two-armed robot standing at 175 centimeters tall and weighing about 65 kilograms. It can carry payloads of up to 16 kilograms in its hands. Equipped with new grasping mechanisms, autonomously navigate to charging stations and operate for 16 hours out of 23, which is equivalent to two full shifts. Its leg design allows the robot to squat low and maintain balance while lifting heavy objects. Additionally, in the event of a strong push, Digit takes a large step back to maintain balance. Digit is equipped with LiDAR and its head is designed to facilitate communication with users. The robot can be controlled via a standard tablet, although engineers are actively experimenting with the use of artificial intelligence. Doctors in the United States are preparing for trials of the so-called artificial womb. Currently, the technology is not capable of supporting the gestation of a child from conception to birth, but it aims to improve the chances of healthy development for premature babies born between 22 and 28 weeks. The concept involves placing such children in a bio bag filled with electrolytes. Umbilical blood vessels are connected to a system that provides oxygenated blood. 
Trials on lambs were successful, and now researchers from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia are seeking approval for the first clinical trials involving humans. What do you think about such a system for raising infants? Share your opinion in the comments. The humanoid robot Apollo is heading to the moon, not right at this moment, but developers from Aptronic are collaborating with NASA to adapt it for space missions. Apparently to show what the space agency expects from the robot, Aptronic engineers demonstrated Valkyrie, a humanoid bot that was developed specifically for NASA but never underwent significant testing. In contrast, Apollo is intended to serve as an assistant to astronauts living either on space stations in orbit or on bases on the moon or Mars. Apollo was originally designed for industrial applications in sectors such as logistics, manufacturing, the hotel industry, and even healthcare. Now the robot will be adapted for specific space functions. Detailed information is currently unavailable. From what is known, NASA aims to expand the robot's autonomy and maneuverability. Fourier Intelligence has promised to deploy 100 humanoid robots this year. Their GR1 robot is currently more research-oriented, but it also aspires to become a versatile worker in the future. In general, the trend of replacing human labor with robots is in full swing. But this year it was Toyota that truly astonished the world, as the company is set to revolutionize robotics. Their new approach to training robots with artificial intelligence in the real world can help robots master any task in just a few hours. This is truly incredible, as it has the potential to make all these humanoid robots, which dozens of companies, including Tesla, are about to mass produce, genuinely intelligent. It's like having a GPT for robotics. The new training system, introduced by researchers at the Toyota Research Institute, enables robots to solve a range of complex tasks using both hands and regular human tools. The new training method allows robots with artificial intelligence to observe how a person performs a given physical task in the real world and essentially program themselves to flexibly execute that task. The training is based on the operator providing tactile feedback from the robot's soft grippers, allowing it to feel what the robot feels when its manipulators come into contact with objects. Once the human operator demonstrates to the robot how to perform the task several times under slightly different conditions, the robot's artificial intelligence builds its own internal model of what success and failure look like, and then runs 1,000 similar processes in simulation to determine methods for accomplishing the task. So far, the Toyota team has employed this approach to quickly train bots in over 60 minor tasks. Toyota also claims that by the end of the year, they will have mastered control over 100 tasks, and by the end of 2024, they plan to complete more than 1,000 tasks. In this way, the company aims to create something similar to the robotic counterpart of ChatGPT in action. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.